Is it on? Yeah, Alright, it's, it's Rosy Charo. Over here in the, the inner sunset. Nice chilly day. Sounds like a good time for some ramen. Some beef ramen over here. Alright. <laughs> Back to that's a wrap. This is Chris Tomaloso from Chrissy Foods. I'm here to Jesus Jim. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back. Um, red leather, yellow leather. Hey everyone, welcome back to That's a Wrap. This is Chris Tomalos of Chrissy Foods. And I'm here to bring you guys to this rare ramen shop here in San Francisco over in the inner sunset district. So yeah, ramen in the Bay Area is predominantly known for tonkatsu broth ramen, which is a pork broth ramen that's been cooked for several hours to really get that nice porky rich flavor that you're used to. But here at Ushitaro, we have a beef broth ramen, which is a little bit more heartier. So right here I got the, the python. And python typically means it's just a little, it's a lot thicker and creamier. The beef broth is cooked with kelp, shaved bonito, mushrooms, topped with beef filet, oyster mushrooms, onsen egg, and truffle. And also I got black garlic oil in this to make it more flavorful than I want. I also got a beef marrow. It's a whole ass beef marrow. I'm gonna be putting in my ramen, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I got here a slow, cooked lean oxtail cooked with lemongrass and tomatoes of course I got these uh, beef gyoza beef dumplings pan fried served with spicy soy sesame oil and also a vegan option that's not a option for us today <laughs> this is beef today first thing I'm gonna try is the, the gyoza oh I love when the wrapper just kind of sticks together it's nice and crispy you got the sao sao it. There you go. Mm. It's a nice little spice. Definitely tastes the sesame oil and soy sauce. And these gyoza is pretty fire. You can taste the vinegar. I think the vinegar and the sesame oil. It really gives it that the nice tart taste that fits well with the soy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Jamar, like what I'm saying? Thank you. This looks kind of like machado. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, like tomato. Cut it, cut it, yeah. Mmm. Holy shit. Ooh, that lemongrass gives a nice, like, citrusy flavor. Yeah, and that just falls off the fucking bone. Oxo is hello fire. This is like super rich, beefy. Beef taste like chicken has like they got brown meat and white meat. And beef have brown meat and white meat. This would be like the brown meat of beef. Cause it's like super rich with flavor. I feel like I eat this with like just rice. Like this is just the appetizer. They have a little bit of cabbage and oh is that arugula? No, it's not arugula. No, it is arugula. for the main course. Now I get ready. So this is their beef broth ramen. I'm really used to eating ramen and pork broth. And I'm assuming because it's beef broth, it's a lot richer and like heartier. You know, like that real beefy taste. And as you can see, there's a nice cuts of like beef and shit. It's a little bit, it's a little bit rare too. And mix it all up. Ooh. I'm gonna use like a like these flat ramen noodles. Interesting. All right. Oh shit. Damn. That's really 
nice and beefy. This tastes like, wow. Beef ramen, I, I did not even know. Mm. Wow, nice and salty. Nice and hearty and rich. Let's try these noodles. Like the real flat noodles, it really captures all the, uh, you can see it. All the flavors and like the, the broth is all trapped in there. Mm. Wow, this is really like fatty and rich. I gotta bring out the bone marrow. Yeah, a little fork too. It's pretty cute. I guess I'm gonna just scrape it down like that. Oh, let me just say a little taste test. Oh, oh, oh shit! That's how if you really want a beefy taste, you got you gotta get the bone marrow. Like salty beef butter. Man, I just wanna slather slather this up all in my like my tanapa and shit. Here, cameraman. Just put it in your mouth. Put it right here. Alright, fine. Ooh, shit. I'm about to take me some bone marrow that shots. Was fire. That was too much fire. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn, talk about getting your ass kicked by flavor. Damn, I feel like I'm in eighth grade again. Damn. Oh shit. Hey. Beef bone ramen. Hella like just hella flavor. Hella salty. Mmm. Damn, I, I wanna keep doing that. That's actually Wait, what do you say before a shot? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Back to the ramen. Look at all that fat. That bone marrow just in there. Woo. Delicious. All right. Damn. This is rich in that one Asian guy from Crazy Rich Asians. So much flavor and richness. These oyster mushrooms. Wow. They're very Milo. That's like almost like eating like abalone. Hella rich. Hella flavor. Hey, when I get old, I want to be this rich, I swear. Man, I hope I don't get gout from eating this. Nice soft boiled egg. Still a little yolky runny. I'm gonna turn up a notch. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Is it pepper? I think this is pepper. That might be salt. Mmm, mm, that little spiciness helps cut through all that, that rich, fatty, beefy. Damn, this is hella beefy. Man, it's like more beef than like Tupac and Biggie. I feel like this soup is like the East Coast and I'm from the West Coast right now. Is that, that's that much beef. I feel like my cameraman in Pittsburgh beefing with all his, his Pittsburgh homies. So yeah, Ushitaro. I did not know what to expect, but that was beef tackler. That was beef tastic. Beef's excellence. That was the beefest. No, no. What's another one? Um, what's a good adjective? I feel like I just ate like a like a hamburger or something. I feel like if beef beef was made into a soup. Well, this is what it is. Beef is made into a soup. Usitaro, I have no beef with you because you have all the beef for me. That's the wrap. Are you getting me? Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Sushi Taro. God damn. This place is fucking beefy. 
Fuck, I feel like... That's deep. Ridiculous. No? I, I need to stop. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.